over the last 20 years or so, ethics has just become something that is really standard in any good business program. All of our undergraduates are required to take the business and society, and all of our MBAs are required to take the social legal environment of global business. I flew here from Seattle, where it was gray and cold, and I arrived to this campus, and I kind of couldn't believe it. I told my friends that it was like academic Disneyland. And that was just, that was just what the campus looked like. And then as I sort of kept having meetings, I just kept being sort of blown away by the fact that these are people I genuinely liked. So after three days of meeting everybody, I went back to Seattle and I just said, that's my job. Like I felt so comfortable here from the very start. And 11 years later, I still feel the same. I came to realize that one of the people who used to own UFC, the Ultimate Fighting Championship, was a USD alum, Lorenzo Fertitta. And so I talked to the dean and I said, I really want to write a business ethics case about the UFC. And I flew to Las Vegas and I met with him and his team and we actually decided that the, the case should be on what new markets the UFC could potentially enter with their product. Um, and so I wrote the case, it got published. I still use it in my classes today. So I'm trying to develop a little bit more empathy in my students. Um, and so I'm doing this through having them do things like um, practice mindfulness, because it actually shows that like the more empathy you have for yourself, the more empathy you have for other people. And that's why I think it's really important in business um, because at the end of the day, business is made up of people. So I've got sort of my in-class at the university focus. And then the other thing that I'm starting to do is a lot more um, outreach to organizations and conferences that are more sort of um, women's empowerment issues. I've been thinking about and reading a lot about the impacts of implicit bias in organizations and how they specifically have an impact on women and other underrepresented groups of people. And so I've been doing some lectures and some sort of guest speaking spots talking about um, how, do we, how do we combat implicit bias and how as women do we sort of stand up and take credit for the work that we've actually done. When I first moved to San Diego, I started doing Muay Thai. As much as I would love to zen out and be somebody who does yoga, I really like to hit things. <laughs>